Are you caught up with the news on Assassin's Creed or have you played Assassin's Creed, Ellen? I've not. I'm kind of interested, but I, I know the news you're talking about. Yeah, so I do want to bring it up. I, I guess it's the big thing right now. And this was uh, this will probably be the last topic we talk about. I know that we have you for roughly about two hours. And, and I thank mm -hmm. you again for, uh, you know, you know, coming on the show. And uh, it's, it's, it's awesome having you on. So uh, let's go over here. This this comes to us from I'm just going to read the, um, the the title of this one and then we'll jump on to the next one. So basically, this one is uh, from that park place. The senior writer for Assassin's mm -hmm. Creed Shadows declared there's more than enough games out there with white men as the only playable characters. Let's do better. So I guess the big hubbub that happened this week with the announcement of uh, Assassin's Creed Shadow was the um, the incorporation of uh, of including Yasuke, which is an actual uh, historical figure from the uh, from Japan. I believe he was Nobunaga's uh, what's it called retainer, and um, I'm not sure if he ever, he's ever gotten like a lordship or mm -hmm. a samurai. Like he became a samurai, but people are basically saying that this is why is he in the game, right? And um, so I I know Gray, you've been you you played most of the assassin's creed game what are your thoughts on uh, on this so far yeah it's like uh this for for the longest time people want to say hey hey ubisoft set up a assassin's creed game in japan people would love that and then now that they finally gave it for some reason they decided oh let's let's put in a black guy instead of a japanese guy i mean nothing wrong with putting yasuke in there but i don't think he deserves to be that main to be given that main character status but yeah again i mean the the senior writer kind of revealed himself we know yeah. why he did it it's because it's getting the engagement it is right now I and mean, probably mm. it's because they're, they're in the back of their mind they're thinking okay what can we do to get people to just keep talking about the game and this is this was it this was their secret formula to be able to do it not in a good way but again like i said in my video like any publicity is good pu publicity yeah. in there. I own. know about this game because of this. So yeah. well done. Good job. Yeah. yeah. So you know what um, they should do? The, the next Assassin's Creed should take place in Africa and then make the main character white. I mean I wonder. Let's Wait, do that. Didn't IGN already like so that this sort of contradicts their thing, right? Is because in Resident Evil 5, um, you had um what's it called again chris redfield from resident evil and he's basically over there taking care of um a virus that infected a lot of africans so and they they're saying that you cannot remake this game because that's i believe that's on the next remake um that capcom's supposed to be doing for re so they're like you can't remake this game because it's racist having a white guy going to africa and killing a bunch of black people you can't <laughs> do that Right, and then they're like, so, so I, I think like it's it's a double standard in hip hop. So you can have a black guy go to Japan and kill a bunch of Asians. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. I so understand. the, the reason, and the thing is that that you know, like, J U.S. is only so big, but if you actually take a look at Ubisoft Japan's uh, trailer, it's mm -hmm. getting heavily ratioed. So this is their trailer for um for Assassin's Creed. Uh -huh. So 3.5k um likes and then 35k I mean 34k dislikes on on it. And then um you know like you have a lot of Japanese people who translate to English speaking as a Korean I naturally thought that the main character for this game was Japanese. That's why I was confused about the current situation. This is a very strange decision. Uh, by the way, please note that the sentence was written using Google Translate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, this isn't cultural appropriation; it's cultural robbery. As a Japanese, I should uh, I should absolutely reject this. And uh, we all, all we Japanese can say is the fact that Yasuke is not a samurai and is not respected. The fact that Yasuke is a samurai is a fiction based on speculation that is not based on fact. I find it strange that Yasuke is called a legendary samurai. For Japanese people, the legendary samurai are Sengoku warlords such as uh, Ue, uh, Uesugi Kenshin. Uh, Date Masamune and Sanada Nobushige. So yeah, I'm just, and all of them are just basically saying they're not happy, right? And, that, and 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 you're like, oh, you're just racist white people. But now it actually goes to people in Japan. They're actually upset about this. So like the uh, co uh, the, the appropriation that's heavily heavily um, centered around this game is it's actually warrant like an actual like review on 
why is IGN, why are all these gaming companies like going to bat for this game? Right. So um, now, uh, would you play, Alan, would you play this game? I believe you can actually play as both the female and the male character. Uh, let's see. Yeah, maybe I'm not that hard up for it. Maybe I would play it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yeah, about money. Get it for, it, it's, yeah, it, just I, subscribe for the subscription for a month so you can save money. You don't have to shell out 70 bucks. Just subscribe like the, for a subscribe month. To Ubisoft or subscribe to? Uh, yeah, Ubisoft. Yeah, like the, yeah, Ubisoft subscription. I believe it's oh. $18 yeah, a you, month. Yeah, you, you get all the features of the highest tier edition. If, but just for a month. But I mean, you, I imagine you wouldn't be playing for more than a month. <laughs> I, I probably, uh, the, the way it works for me is if, if, uh, if I'm good at it for, uh, if I can get good at it quickly, I'll play it through. Um, but if I can't, then I'll give up and never go back to it. Uh, so I don't know how, how easy the Assassin's it, Creed game is. Yeah, the modern, the latest one was really, really easy, in my opinion. I imagine it's based on the trailer, they're beating the shit out of everyone. So it's mm -hmm. probably going to be easy to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the crazy thing is that this game, if you want like everything, you know, back in the day when we bought games like for yeah. Super Nintendo. On a disc, yes. Yeah, or, or, or even like, you know, uh, a, yeah, a game on like PlayStation 1 or something like that. The game comes full, full features, yeah. everything. Nothing is locked behind DLC. But if you want the full-fledged version of this game, and you get pre-order bonus with a three-day early pass and season pass and ultimate edition with probably the extra skins. It's going to cost you $130 to play this game if you yeah. want the actual full experience. And I think this is this is more of a crime than having Yasuke yeah. as the main character. See, this is me yeah. now not playing this game. Uh, yeah. This. You know, again, you said it. Uh, I want to buy the game and have the game. I don't want to... Uh, you know, I, I get it if... Uh, if you pay extra for certain things like a skin or something like that, but I want the game. Uh, I don't want to have to buy, uh, buy, you know, pay more to get, you know, the, yeah. the full complete game. Uh, this is I, I don't like this. I don't have this kind yeah. of money. Yeah, the, the yeah. biggest manipulation here is the three days early access for me. That's the biggest one. It's like that's psychological manipulation. That's FOMO. Yeah. Like you have to pay extra so you can play it three days in advance, and unfortunately, a lot of people will fall for that one. Although yeah. I did do that for Hogwarts Legacy, I bought it. No, I bought that, it that, that 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 yeah, I I that's different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I actually made it through Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, you beat the game? Okay, yeah, yeah that, that, that that's awesome. That's awesome because I was asking, I forgot who I was talking to. I, was, I think I might have talking to Steph. I was like, did you beat the game yet? She's no, I'm still playing it. <laughs> like yeah. my dirty home. Yeah, she was like, yeah. I'm, still, I was, I'm yeah. still playing the game. A lot of it is, you know, because I, I like playing games with my daughter. And that was one of them. Um, like she got me into Minecraft. Um, and, uh, you know, I wouldn't have played Minecraft if it wasn't for her. And so we're always try like right now, the this summer, we're, we're going to play Halo. Uh, Halo together. Oh, uh, the old ones? Ooh. Yeah, the Halo 1. We're going to start with one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yes. That's, that's going to be fun. I know. I'm like, yeah, because she's never done a first-person shooter. And I'm like, and we could play it together. And she's yeah. like, well, that's not the selling point, but we'll we'll give it a try. <laughs> yeah, it's going to couch co-op old school style with the split yeah. screen. Oh, that's going to be fun. Yeah. That's going to yeah. be fun. I'm but excited. I, it, I, I, I want to see her. How she reacts to to Halo because this yeah. is such a cool two player game. Yeah, I think it would be extra fun if you put it on heroic. Le Legendary might be too hard, but heroic, <laughs> heroic might be <laughs> I, the, I the ideal. Easy for her. We'll, the we'll fun react yeah. content. Yeah, I think heroic is the ideal difficulty for that one. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, you asked me if I play video games. You know, like um, when I got married back, uh, I got married two weeks after Phantom Menace. Um, and my wife bought me a uh, a N64 for for our first month anniversary, and uh, awesome. so I got into that. And then um, and then when they announced the Xbox, I was in line. So I I've, I've been an Xbox guy since the very beginning, and so Halo was the one. And uh, you know I we had um, we had uh, the company I worked for bought Xboxes, and at lunch we were playing Halo constantly. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I, 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 I miss the days where uh, where Xbox was like a household name, 
and yeah. now it's more yeah. of like a like a service now like i i, I get it that like there are you know you can play xbox games on like different consoles mm -hmm. which is great you know maybe their their goal is to make sure like people buy their subscriptions and play their games but i think uh you know like when xbox 360 was out like everyone was playing like everyone was yeah. on halo everyone was playing gears and people were going online and and you know people were playing call of duty modern warfare and it's, it was just it's not like that anymore and you know like yeah back, well, like, i'll just say like when what? xbox one came out xbox one was no longer a game console it was an entertainment center and so i was yeah. watching youtube i was watching everything on my xbox one i was i was doing everything on the xbox one but playing games and um <laughs> yeah, and weirdly yeah, enough when i when i bought my first 4k television uh that's when i bought the x xbox series s uh, so i could watch 4k movies <laughs> yeah that's yeah. xbox never recovered from that the announcement at e3 especially when it was being compared to the ps4 because like back like microsoft was so hell-bent on not allowing second-hand copies of the game and then so sony kind of trolled on that oh we allow we allow Secondhand games and everyone at E3 was shouting, was cheering Sony so hard on that one. <laughs> there, there was a commercial never about, about it. it. It had yeah. a commercial. Yeah. How was, to borrow like, a game? How to borrow a game? Here. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that was the thing. Yeah. Once, once it was. I mean, we we talked about it, but it, it was you buy the disc, you put it in, it installs, and then it has to go to the internet for all the patches and everything. And then that's yes. kind of when uh, consoles just got started ruining the game, the gaming industry or, or the gaming business. Uh, and um, yeah. and again, you know, the, you know, if you if you want a real console, yeah, go back to the old Xbox, the 360, and and even the N64 and every and everything else before before the internet. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like share subscribe hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live we do go live every saturday at 8 p.m once again we are just getting started tons of more video to come thanks and we'll see you guys next time